Aww. Okay, um, I'm back real quick to show you. I already cut um, one of my Bejeweled Bubbles bars in half already. Um, actually, I haven't cut it completely in half. Um, I have it right here. I already made the cut line to get it out. What I wanted to say was I already got the little surprise out of one the one that was sitting right at the top all I had to do was just like take the very top layer off that's it so this one is not cut the bag was kind of like ripped open so I really didn't want to mess with it too much so I figured I'd get on here now and just do it um, since it's already sticking out um, this one seems kind of like a just like a plain band with a little bit of a design with some type of like crystals or gems or something on it. If I can get the little bag open. I look at my hand. I look at my hand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't mind my daughter. She's over here drawing and playing, keeping herself occupied while I'm doing the videos. Um, hmm, this is definitely different than what I've gotten out of them. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it really good in the at all. It's just a plain band with like a um, little bit of a design. Yeah, I don't. I, like my, I, like I don't know how to like <laughs> focus it like you guys do. I have a lot to learn, but you get the picture. I mean, you can see a little bit right there, the design going around it. Um, it does say something inside. Uh, it looks like it says, I want to say 18K RGP, which I think that means um, 18 karat. I've heard a lot of people say rolled gold plated, and then I've heard people say rose gold plated. This does not look like rose gold. It looks just like um, white gold or silver, but I'm guessing since it says 18K, it might be like plated with some, some type of white gold. Um, that's just my guess. Let me just see if this fits really quick. Eh, no, it's pretty small. It's too big for my pinky, but too small for my ring finger. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put that one to the side and then start into the one that I cut. This one is a little bit tough getting out just because I don't want to break it apart you know what I mean but it's just right here and just stuck in there I just kind of got to wiggle it out I don't because I don't want to damage the soap if I don't have to because I do use all of these soaps after I get the jewelry out I don't throw them away I don't set them on the side they do go in the bathroom yeah so let's see uh. In this one. What is it? What is it? Hold on. Let me, I'll show you. See, I'm getting a lot of different experience with them this time. It, with the it, packaging it. and the rings. Uh, usually I get like stone, stone rings. Um, like stone pretty much like bling rings. Um, I've gotten a couple of the, you know, real rings from them. Oh, damn. And this one is definitely different than what I'm used to it's really pretty actually unique it has like a dark colored stones in there I don't know if they're green or gray they're pretty dark it's dark you can kind of see how like unique looking that is let me see if I oh wait a minute there we go you can kind of see right there like what it looks like this one looks kind of small too. All my other rings that I've ordered in the large have fit. Oh, this one does fit. Bam. It does fit on there. Check. So, Check. I will be wearing this one. It's just a little uh, bit tighter than what I'm Check. used to. Check. This one is not marked at all, which is definitely fine. The marking, the value makes no difference to me at all. If it's nice, if it's pretty, I wear it. I don't care. Um, if it's a $150 value written on a paper or it doesn't have a paper. If it's pretty, I'm going to wear it. Um, I, don't, I, I don't care about the price. I'm not really in it to find 
expensive jewelry if I want a piece of expensive jewelry I'll go buy it I just like you know I like the hunt like everybody else says I like to get my prize out I like getting product that has something in it because not only do I get the product but then I get something extra with it and that's always fun especially you know for adults that brings out I think like the kid side in us a little bit um you know it's not a toy it's jewelry and that's what adults like is jewelry I'm making a robot I'm making a robot you're making a robot uh huh I'm like a little ear okay. so I'm gonna um this is the oh by the way the last one that I just did the one that I cut in half that was the one that was supposed to smell like coach poppy and um it didn't really smell like the perfume at all um but it did have a really nice light fragrant smell um this is the one that I told you I really couldn't smell with the wrapper on like the, I could the other ones. And there's really no word to describe it. It's just more like a light fruity smell, I want to say. I'm really, really horrible at descriptions of scents. I, if it's not something basic that I've smelled before or that I've heard of, it's probably not going to get a good description for me or a very accurate one. I mean, everything. all I pretty much know is it smells good or don't smell good. That's pretty good. much my, as far good. as my descriptions go. Fruity bakery, whatever. I don't know how any of you guys can say, oh, well, this smells like it has top notes of this and bottom notes of that and a yeah. middle note of this with just a hint of this. I don't know how you do it because I cannot do that and I wish I could, but. No, I can't. Okay, so this one is my last one that I have. And this is the, the strawberries and cream one. The one I was saying I really like that my daughter gets all the time. And I'm just going to pull this out. I like it everything. She's over here coloring away. Not even paying a bit of attention to the video. Which that's all she's talked about all morning is when she's going to get to be in a video. Oh, this one's sparkly. This is more, I think, along. I can't really see it too, too much because it's covered in pink soap. But I think this is more along the lines of what I'm used to getting out of a Bejeweled Bubble Soap. Is a ring, like, similar to this. It's, like, bigger on the top with some bling and sparkle which I absolutely love I love bling I love sparkle I love glitter anything shiny and look, I love it and look at my, look at typical that. female I guess oh yeah that is pretty Lacey. and it's like really really Lacey. light light pink Lacey. stones and they almost look clear unless Lacey. you look at it see it's cute you yeah. like it Okay, so this is what it looks like. I am so trying to get this so you can see it. I doubt you're going to be able to see the color of the stones. But it's like a pink color. I like this robot. This does fit. It's kind of a little bit snug. But that's what it looks like. robot. That's probably my favorite one out of the three. But I will be wearing all three. Um, again, I don't think this... Yeah. Yeah, I don't think this one's marked at all. It kind of looked like for a second there it was. Because anyway, sometimes they're marked, but you, they're blurry like. Yeah, this one isn't marked. But it's definitely cute. So those were the rings I got out of my Bejeweled Bubble Soap. Like I said a couple times throughout this video and last that I really I love, love Bejeweled Bubbles. If you have not tried them, definitely try them. Because the you get three soaps for, I want to say 25 Three for 25 or I believe they're about $10 a piece if you buy them singly. Um, if that's even a word, singly, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, so you have three chances for $25 to get, you know, a pretty ring, a nice ring. Um, if you go for the value, a valuable ring, whatever, you know, whatever floats your boat. Whatever is your motivation for buying these um, 
products with jewelry in them okay so i will talk to you guys later i do have i'm gonna try it because i have school and i have homework to do uh, but i'm gonna try i have two other packages you can see right here um to do videos on which is one is just like a small d stash that i bought from i don't know if this was an etsy shop or i will have to tell you later and my what i'm excited for is my scent cetera candles here the one with um genuine real jewelry um that i said talked about in my first video yesterday so um hopefully i will see you guys later and you will get to see what i get out of my candle and my d stash from i want to say the etsy shop but then again i could be wrong all right guys thank you for watching and i will talk to you uh sooner or later see ya